Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to create groups in Windows Server 2003. By using groups, we can assign permissions for multiple users at the workplace at a time. For example, in your company, there are number of users working in different departments and you want to give particular permissions among the users working in those departments. By using this concept, we can assign it very easily. So to create groups, come to Start, Administrative Tools, and please select Active Directory, Users and Computers. Just expand internet.com, come to the Users, right-click on the Users, come to New, please select Group. Here, I'm creating a group for my research department so I'm giving group name as research and after that for best practice please select group scope as global and group type as security after that just click on OK and here now you can find it research group is created and for creating groups I have another process for that come to start open run command come to command prompt here just type net group and slash add and now I want to create a group for tech support After that, just enter. Now it is showing command completed successfully. Now close this. Again, come to the Active Directory Users and Computers, but here it is not showing that. For that, just refresh it once. Now you will get the group. Okay, tech support it is showing there. Normally, groups are indicated by an icon with two heads, and for the users, it is with the single head. Now right click on the group and come to properties here in general you can give the description email and group scope and you can modify the group type also here in users in description nothing is showing here so I want to create it a description okay I want to assign description for this group tech people okay and after that come to the members and here we can assign users for this group so for that is come to add select Lee in my previous video I have created Lee user so after typing Lee just click on check name now it is showing the user account just click on OK and again come to add one more user check names OK and after that come to the member of here by using this command it will show the information what the domain it belongs to and what the other groups it belongs to after that come to the managed by so by using this we can assign responsible for this group object okay for that just come to change and come to advanced option fine now here I'm selecting administrator okay okay and here it is not showing the two more options objects and security so for that just come to view select advanced features and after that again come to the okay apply it okay just again open the properties now you can find objective and security so in security option we can give permission for the user accounts in object 
it is showing the object class it belongs to group and it is created so on 4 10 2016 and modified date and also it is showing the update sequence numbers at the starting it is having 16047 now it came to the 16 for 65 okay after this just come to user account come to properties come to member of and here it is showing the tech support we added this user to the tech support group so that's why it is showing the tech support so like this we can add users for the particular group and we can assign special permissions for that group users with this I have successfully completed the creating groups in Windows Server 2003 if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel IT Board 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and thank you friends have a nice day